guys, welcome back to A-Frame Daydream. Uh, today is actually April the 10th. It is actually pretty windy out today. We're, it's going to be nice, but we're expected to have some storms in the upcoming days. We did find uh, a small issue that we started having. We were getting some water into this bay, um, which we're going to take a look at, see where it's coming from, how it's getting in there, what we need to do to fix that. It just started happening recently. We did catch it on the shakedown trip that we went up to Starved Rocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to break out some water and uh, spray it down. So what I have done yesterday is I've kind of found out where the leak was coming from. So let me get this door open. And But we're going to do this. We get ourselves here a paper towel. So I already pretty much lined this yesterday with paper towels. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna just show you this is a dry paper towel. We're just gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna get it butted up right in here. Give this bay a close, get this lock, put our dust cap cover back on. Let me go get uh, a tub real quick because I want to put down here just to catch the water. So give me one second. All right, guys, we got our bucket here, our hose. So we're going to give this a quick spray down. All right, we're going to give this a few just to uh, let this kind of drain a little bit. But what we think is going on is the seal's ripped and the metal's somewhat bent down there. Uh, we'll bring you up here a little forward and show you that. And then I've, we've got one in the back bay that will show you too what is going on. And we'll get some repairs done to that. So we'll just give this a couple more seconds here. We'll let this kind of do an air dry out here but let's take it out get it open and see if we've got some water on this towel we've got water on the towel it's damp um, hard to see but yeah, there's water on the towel. So let me pull you guys forward here, show you what we got going on here, what we're going to do to fix it. All right, guys, you're going to have to kind of take my word for this, but I'll kind of point it out. We've got two issues here in this one spot. This metal is kind of bent here. You can kind of see it's wavy. And then also the seal is ripped right here. So that's how the water is getting in. You can kind of see me picking at it. It's ripped. And let me take you and show you another spot that I actually thought where the water was coming in at, but is not coming in at. All right, where I thought the water was coming in at was right here. This seal, um, it's gonna be really hard to point out because of course, it's the worst condition ever, but you can kind of see right in front of my finger here that seal just doesn't look good there. Um, we're going to get that taken care of by replacing the seal. I'll show you what I have. Let me take you to the back bay and show you what we've got going on there. If you thought these ones were hard to see, I think we're going to have a definite... Uh, you're going to be able to see what we got going on. Alright guys, well... 
if you can't see this one, let me just get a, uh, I don't know what to really put up here, but man, this thing is just all over the road. So, and we got to rip, the seal is just ripped up on this, on this bay really good. But, uh, let me get back in front of the camera here and talk to you guys and show Hi you guys. What we got. So we've got ourselves a new multi-purpose rubber seal. Um, there's two five-foot strips in here. It's by a company called MD. The product number is 52022. Right here it is. Basically, you get a rubber strip, self-adhesive backing, uh, two pieces come in here. Just basically slide them off what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'll bring you in show you how I'm gonna remove this seal should be pretty simple I'm gonna use the same method that we used before on replacing the uh, silicone on the outside of this bay I've got that 5-in-1 multi-purpose tool and if I need to I'll get a razor blade and take the rest of the adhesive off and then I'm going to follow it up with probably um, some 50-50 alcohol or possibly like some brake cleaner just on a paper towel. Um, brake cleaner is going to work just as good and get it back to a good dry surface and ready to uh, put this new seal on. So we'll take you along for that process when I am doing that. But in other words, I'm going to get started and uh, get you guys set up. All right, guys, we are back. We've got a pair of channel locks. We've got the five in one tool. First thing we're gonna do before we take the seal off is we're gonna fix this bent metal in here. Um, that will just go a lot easier with that old seal still there. Thus, we're not damaging too much. So here we go. Of course, my hat ain't going to make it the easiest to get in here for me to see down. You can kind of feel in the back with your finger where the waves are and stuff like that where you need to push and pull. You just want to get it as straight as you can. All right. Now that I've got that pretty straight, what we're going to do here is we're going to take out the old seal. If I get lucky, most of it will come off at once. All right, the old seal came off at once. You can kind of still see the plastic here from the old adhesive. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try picking at it with my finger that it doesn't work. So we're going to use the 5-in-1 tool. We're going to go around and scrape all this off.
All right, guys, not the easiest to clean, but we got it done. We got some uh, brake cleaner here, just from uh, not sponsored Advanced or AutoZone, one of the two, I don't know. It's right there in front of me. We're gonna spray it on the rag, then we're gonna clean up the seal area. We got that all scraped off. I want to try to get this residue off as best as I can. Which is doing a pretty good job at eating it off. All right, guys, we've got our new weather seal here, a pair of scissors. What we're going to want to do is start at the very bottom, start placing it here, and then work our way around, and then cut it, of course, where it ends. So let's go ahead and start. You don't want to go ahead and peel a bunch of this off at once. You just want to work at slow increments. And what you don't want to do is stretch the foam, neither. So we're just going to start carefully laying it on. Well, hey guys, I spent some uh, time bending out this metal here to get it a little bit more flatter. It's not as bad as it was. It's a lot more doable. Um, the seal, of course, you can see is ripped here. It's ripped out at the bottom in a few different spots. So we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the seal replaced. And then uh, from there, we should be pretty much ready to do a... Uh, a water test on that front this one we really didn't have too much issues with it's just yes the seal is beat up it needs to be replaced um, other than that we're gonna get it taken care of so we'll see you in just a few all right guys we are back it is pretty darn windy here I just about got blown over by a wind gust Anyways, we are going to get this sprayed um, from the side, just like we'd be washing it, to make sure that the towels did not get wet. I've got one in here and one in the back bay since I went ahead and replaced that. So let's just go ahead and get it started and see what we get. I think if we're going to get any water, we would have it in there by now. Because I pretty much did a spray right there on the side. So we're going to give this a couple seconds just to let it air dry just a little bit. All right, I think we are good to actually open it. So let me take a quick look on the inside and see what we got.
No water. No water at all. Towel's dry. All right, that's a good deal. That's something that we want, of course. All right, being that we're gonna be having some weather come in, we are gonna get that shut up. And uh, we're gonna move back to the back bay, see how that one survives after all them nice wavy lines in that metal. So give me one second, I'll get you guys turned around here. All right, back here at the back bay, the one that had the nice wavy lines in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sprayed down also. Spring it down just like I would wash it and rinse it. But anyways, guys, um, since we're getting to the end of this video, real quickly, we're going to be coming up with some more videos coming out. Uh, we're going to be talking about our vacation coming up. Um, we've got some other things that we want to bring you up on and let you know what's going on. And hopefully you can uh, join in on them if, if possible. So... I would say let's give this a couple more seconds, but yeah, we discovered these leaks when we were camping at Star Rock, like uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, um, but this is something that you don't want to really have happen to you, and then you find out three, four, maybe five months later because you left it in storage, and then you come to find out that you've got some serious issues going on. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing opened. Gonna open it just a little bit. Pull it out fast. Let's see what we got. It is dry, another dry towel. Not that I'm disappointed, I'm actually happy. So other than that guys, we are going to uh, let you go in this video and we will catch you in the next video. And if you haven't, if you could, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, like this video if you do like this video. Um, like I said, you can pretty much go to your big box stores and find the seals um look in the description down below there are actually two links of different seals i will actually do some research and i'll have them in the description for you but other than that guys we will catch you later have a good one A paper towel is not wet. Let me attempt that again. <laughs> 